making a lot of legitimate money. And the feds just came and snatched me up. You know what I'm saying? Being that I got a uh, letter from somebody saying that basically because I never changed my address uh, from being a uh, Detroit, Michigan, is the reason why Michigan has snatched me up and indicted me. You see what I'm saying? And I didn't even know that. I just found that out in a letter. Like I'm saying. But you know, it's just found that out tonight in a letter somebody wrote me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and a letter somebody wrote me, but you know, you just, you know, you, I, I couldn't do it. I'm, if I was myself, I could have did this. I could have grabbed a bunch of millions and been on somewhere where you can't be extra tight. But that wasn't what I was out for. I was out, I, I've already played the legal game to the fullest. So now I was trying to legitimize me and the whole family. I mean, I was 37 years old when I got picked up, so I'm, I was slowing down anyway, bro. I was getting kind of tired. But when you the face of the family, that's the one thing that I was trying to learn. Even at 37 years old, even though I'm feeling old, I've been doing it so long, like I'm, I was getting kind of tired. You know, you know me, I'm popping still smoking weed, drinking, I'm partying, freaking, getting money, got whips going up and down the road, you know, and I'm doing everything to try to make this family successful and everything we do look big, everything. Everything we do gotta look big, you know what I'm saying? And uh, 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 I think for real, I don't, I mean, I like cash money, but they probably wouldn't have been what they was if we was out there, you know, what they are now. Out there, you know what I'm saying? Or we would all have been a part of something together or something. Because they weren't that big, they didn't, they not, they wasn't as big as they are now when we were out there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he just been Lil Wayne, and he was the president of nothing when I was out there. You know what I'm saying? He was the president, but the president of nothing. Lou was the president of BMF Entertainment off the, off the rip once I got it legitimized, you know.